How we doing everybody? Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggly With I'm Will, and today we're doing another top 10 video. This time it is the top 10 community choice for the month of April, 2023. So if you're watching this in 2024, I guess thanks for watching what was good now, but hopefully you watched the 2024 video. Uh, but either way, these are ratings from Pub Meeple. Basically every month I go out, grab the information from Pub Meeple for that particular month, and then I bring it to you so you don't have to go out to the website and do it yourself. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started with number 10, uh, which is technically number 11 because there is one game that is being removed due to it being a duplicate. Um, if you watch the buzz video, you might already know what that is. Uh, but number 10 is Cthulhu Death May Die. Uh, so this one I think is still showing up here and there because of the anticipation of the new Kickstarter that just finished. Uh, people are probably getting in and playing before the pledge manager opens or maybe the pledge manager did just open. You guys gotta let me know and let everybody else know whether the pledge manager is open. Uh, so, of course, it's a dice rolling dungeon crawler game. Uh, you're trying to defeat old ones uh, by increasing your insanity, rolling dice, uh, things like that. You're gonna na navigate multiple episodic stories uh, and two different ad uh, acts, delving into the madness, uh, just like most Simon games. This is probably one of their most popular and easier to get into systems. Similar to like Zombie Side, it, it's those beer and pretzel type games. There's not a lot of overhead, real easy to play. I painted a bunch of the minis for Cthulhu Death May Die for an Extra Life donor. Uh, they took advantage of our paint the mini incentives, uh, but we've not played. It's not really a theme that Audrey would like, uh, but let us know down below if you like Death May Die. All right, uh, number nine is uh, Twilight Imperium 4th Edition. This is a game that is always highly rated. Uh, Pub Meeple last year, it did show up. Uh, we got it here from the buzz. It was 11th last year uh, overall. So this is an area control game. You're buying for domination of it. Uh, you're going out, you're trying to outmaneuver uh, your opponents, gather economic um, power. Uh, during your turns, you're going to move your guys around, claim different planets, engage in warfare, engage in trade. You're just trying to, well, win by having the most of everything, area and wealth. Uh, I've not played and it seems like a very long game from what I understand, like you're looking at hours and hours of play. Uh, so don't think we would ever get to play that. Uh, but let us know if that is one of your favorite games. Number eight is Earth. This is a uh, game that is giving a lot of other games a run for their money. Uh, games like Wingspan, Terraforming Mars, Arc Nova, so forth. It's moving very quickly through the ranks. Uh, it's a tableau engine builder where you are going to choose an action and then another player gets to follow that action. Uh, these include, you know, gathering resources, planting uh, some flora, you know, getting some different animals and, uh, or fauna, as they call it, uh, into your tableau. Uh, just a little bit of engine building, but it's supposed to be a little bit cleaner and smoother than some of those other games I mentioned. We've got a copy. We haven't got to play yet, uh, but if you've played all of those games, let us know which one you think is the favorite down in the comments. Uh, this one here actually would have showed up in the buzz, which I did mention in the buzz. This climbed over 106 spaces, but we only look at the top 100 when I'm doing the buzz. Uh, so it it really flew up in the ranks and I see it probably staying up here for a little while while it's hot. Uh, number seven is Heat Pedal to the Metal, another game that people are talking a lot about. It rose, it didn't rise as much, um, but it did rise quite a bit. Uh, and this one is a, uh, I, say, I don't want to say deck building, but you are building out your set of cards uh, and then you're racing to the end, see if you can do. Uh, you have to have the right cards and upgrades to prevent your car from like overheating, uh, taking sharp curves, right? You got to be able to slow down uh, and, and increasing your speed. And you have to play those at certain times to keep yourself in the race and not, well, I guess, blow up your engine uh, or crash your car. Uh, again, game we haven't played and I think it's next to impossible for anybody to find. Um, so I imagine you're gonna have to wait for a reprint uh, if you want to play Heat Pedal to the Metal. Uh, number six is a game that's been in the top 10 before. It fell out, it came back in this month and that's Lost Ruins of Arnak. Uh, there is a new expansion coming this fall. We do have both the first expansion game. We'll eventually get it played on the channel uh, probably when that new expansion comes out. Uh, but it's a deck building worker placement game where you're exploring an island and you're trying to find lost artifacts. You're facing some fearsome guardians and you're using your cards to do normal deck building actions as well as placing your workers, gathering your resources, taking certain actions, um, all to try to get, I know there's a, 
a track, right? So there's different point tracks and things like that um, to basically see if you can have the most victory points by the end of the game. So definitely something we're looking forward to playing. Uh, let us know if you believe Lost Ruins should be a little bit higher on this list. Number five is Spirit Island. I do know that there was a recent Target edition and I believe there was a Kickstarter campaign as well that just completed. Uh, so a lot of people were probably playing their copies. Um, but basically in Spirit Island, you're defending your island from colonizing invaders. Uh, you are asymmetric spirits with different elemental powers and you're trying to play your cards to basically stop them from taking over the entire island. So it's got a little bit of area control where they're trying to take over and spread and destroy your island, and you're gonna play your powers to basically prevent that from happening. Uh, it is a little bit heavier weight game, so it isn't something we've ever looked at getting into, uh, but maybe that target edition, which is supposed to be a little bit simpler, would be something for us to look into in the future. Uh, but that is Spirit Island. Uh, so number four, again, is the game that combined, which is the Everdell. Uh, Everdell Complete Collection was rated higher than regular Everdell. I didn't normalize like I did last year with the top 25. Still debating if I want to keep doing that. But Everdell, Tableau Worker Placement, most people know it, cute little animals. Uh, you're sending your workers out to obtain resources so you can play your cards into your Tableau, build out some type of little engine where you can activate it during the four different seasons, uh, and then at the end of the game, optimize your points based on the different cards and creatures and buildings that you put into your Tableau. Uh, it is one of our top games. Uh, you can see over there in the corner, we got the big old complete collection over there. Uh, we do have a video if you want to know what our favorite Everdell expansion, uh, that video is up on the channel as well. All right, number three is, and again, this is just weird where it shows up on PubMeeple versus uh, Board Game Geek, and that is Brass Birmingham, which of course is the number one game on Board Game Geek. Uh, this one you are, uh, it is a, uh, I want to say it's a worker place, but it's not. It's an economic route building game where you're trying to optimize your resources to be able to uh, build out, develop, uh, and establish your industries and your network to be able to send resource from one to the other. Uh, so that way you can exploit, it says exploit lows and highs in the market, right? So you basically want to get resources and you want to buy when it's low, sell when it's high. Normal economic strategy there. Uh, we do have a copy of Barris Birmingham we got um, from an online retailer. I believe it was Miniature Market. They had it for like 50 bucks. And I'm like, yes, please. Uh, so we do have that. We will eventually get that played on the channel as well. Uh, number two is another game that um, because we have others that are similar to this, I haven't looked to pick it up. We haven't watched the movie. I do know the trailer for the second part just came out, uh, and that is Dune Imperium. Uh, in Dune Imperium, it is a deck building resource management game uh, where you're going to acquire different cards, just like a deck builder, build up your uh, valuable cards, get rid of your old cards. Uh, they're gonna allow you to send out workers, which is a little bit different. I mean, like I mentioned with um, Lost Ruins of Arnak, that worker placement aspect to be able to get resources, improve your military, uh, influence political factions, things like that. Um, it seems like it would be a fun game. I don't know if the theme is really needed. Like, do you need to watch Dune? Do you not need to watch Dune? Do you need to know anything about Spice? Um, I know these things just because these is, these are, this is, in Craig Grimmer. It's, it's geek culture, right? People know about Dune, but I don't know about Dune, if that makes any sense. Uh, but if you think we're missing something and we should play it, of course, let us know down in the comments. And then the number one game still on PubMeeple, and it has not moved for, I think since I started doing this, uh, and that is Arc Nova. Arc Nova is a hand management engine building game uh, where you're trying to design a zoo. You're building out your tableau, building enclosures to accommodate the different animals. Uh, you're trying to get some type of support and conservation projects, uh, all to earn points. So at the end of the game, well, you win. Uh, very much being compared to other games like Terraforming Mars and now Earth, which we saw show up on the list this month. Um, we do have Arc Nova, Earth, and Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. Uh, we do plan, I think I've got it in June, to do all three of those games so we can compare them. Uh, if Stonemire actually has Wingspan up for review in June, may pick that up as well. We'll do all four games and let you guys decide which one is better. But if you guys want to contribute to this top 10 next month, make sure that when you play some games for the month, before the end of the month, go out to Pub Meeple, rate those games, uh, and it will, of course, accordingly put them on this list. Or if not this, maybe the People's Buzz. If you want to watch these videos, the People's Buzz videos, and any other content we come out with, including our live streams, make sure you hit that subscribe bell notification to know when they go live. 
Until next time, guys. Peace.